Hi, my name is Dustin Fisher, Integrated Solutions Coordinator out of our support center in Holdridge, Nebraska. Today we're going to talk about U23 settings, adjustments, and optimization. In this video, we'll talk about the settings of the E23 transmission. There are three different ways to get to the settings on this particular tractor. The first is to touch your transmission soft key below the screen. It'll bring up your transmission settings. The second way is to hit menu, machine settings, and transmission. The last way is from your tractor run page. If you click on your transmission box, it'll bring up your transmission settings page. We'll first talk about the advanced settings. So we will hit the arrow with the dot. The first setting that's in the advanced settings page is the auto clutch sensitivity. This transmission is equipped with auto clutch similar to an IVT transmission in the fact that if you depress both of the brake pedals at the same time, it'll come to a complete stop without pushing the clutch in. Your auto sensitivity settings are off, low, medium, or high. If you do turn your auto clutch to off on the next key cycle, it will default back to the previous selected sensitivity that you had saved. The next set of adjustments in the advanced setting are your start gears for forward set speed one, forward set speed two, and reverse so we can see that in forward set speed one we'll start in seventh gear and in reverse we'll start in third the next setting is your backup alarm if you want your backup alarm enabled and you have one installed you can turn it on or you can turn it off next we come to the auto mfwd disengage steering angle we have 15, 20, 25, 30 degrees or off. If you have it off, when you turn the steering wheel in auto MFWD setting, the MFWD will always be engaged. Your auto diff lock disengage steering angle is the last setting in the advanced settings page and we can choose between three, six, nine, and 12 degrees of steering wheel movement before the auto diff lock disengages. This is the end of the advanced settings adjustments. We will now go into the transmission settings on the main page. In full auto you can see that the eco and custom settings is grayed out because the engine and transmission will work together to optimize engine RPM. You can adjust your F2, F1, R1, and R2 set speeds by taking the transmission out of park, pressing on F set speed 1 button, and using your scroll knob to set it. We will set this at 3 miles an hour for turning around on our headlamps. We are now going to adjust the F2 set speed down to seven miles an hour to plant in the field. To adjust your R1 and R2 set speeds, you must be in the reverse gate and then you'll press the set speed one and adjust it down. And then to adjust your R2 set speed, press set speed two in the reverse gate and adjust that down to where you want it. The next two settings are your max speeds, for forward and reverse. Right now we have the forward max set speed at 26 miles an hour and the reverse set at 19. And then we can also see our forward start gears for set speed one and set speed two. And if you push the button, you can change those from seven tenth. In this video we're going to talk about full auto mode as we have it selected in our transmission settings page. 
Next, we're going to push the throttle all the way forward so that we have the multi so we have the maximum engine RPMs available if needed. Next, we're going to shift the transmission into forward gear and our set speed is at 3 miles an hour and we're in ninth gear. You can see that our engine RPM dropped down to 1290 RPM because that's all that's needed for the load on the tractor at this current point to maintain a speed of 3 miles an hour. To increase the set speed, we'll simply roll the knob forward and you can see our set speed increased and then our actual in our actual speed increased to match our set speed. To go to set speed 2, we'll simply press the set speed 2 button and it will take us to our set speed 2 of 7 miles an hour and our actual will meet it. We can see our engine RPMs increased until it met the actual speed that we wanted and then it settled down to just the minimum RPM needed to perform the task and load on the tractor currently. To demonstrate auto clutch with the E23, we'll simply press on the brake pedals together our transmission will shift and we'll come to a complete stop. The next transmission mode we're going to talk about is custom mode. So if we click on custom mode, we can see our max speeds are the same, our forward start gears are the same, and our set speeds maintain the same. If you look under the performance tab, the eco on and eco off have now come available along with our custom settings. First, we're going to talk about our eco mode. Our eco mode sets our minimum engine RPMs. So, in the example of pulling a planner with a PTO generator for your power generation, you need to maintain at least 1500 RPMs going through the field to create the power necessary to run the planner. But when you're turning around on the headlands, you can maybe drop to 1400 RPM to save fuel. So I'm going to set my eco off to 1500 RPMs. And then I'm going to enable my eco to get my eco on engine RPMs illuminated. And I'm going to adjust that down to... 1400 so now when I hit my eco button to off my minimum engine RPM is going to be set at 1500 and when I enable it my minimum engine RPM is going to be set at 1400 another instance of using this is field conditions and then roading it down the road maybe roading it down the road you want to adjust your minimum RPMs down to 1100 so when the eco's on, the minimum engine RPM is 1100, but when we turn it off, the minimum engine RPM is 1500, so it never drops below that. If you are running an electric drive planner with a PTO power generation, please run your transmission in custom mode to get the most fuel efficiency out of your tractor. In the custom settings tab, we see that we have PTO on droop, PTO off droop and then we have our load anticipation buttons our load anticipation on and off switches if they're enabled in the on position when you activate that switch it will ramp the engine RPM up to max RPM to anticipate the load you're putting on the machine by activating either the PTO the three point or the SCV function PTO on and off droop 
is the amount of drop in actual RPMs from commanded RPMs before we start slowing ground speed down to maintain engine RPMs. So to roughly figure if we have our PTO droop in the on position at 20% and we're running through the field at 2000 RPMs and our droop set at 20% it will let us drop to 1800 RPMs before it will start limiting ground speed to maintain the engine RPMs if the load on the PTO is greater than it can maintain at that engine speed. Now we'll demonstrate the custom settings in a ride and drive scenario. So if we go into our transmission settings again, we're gonna go into custom and you can see our eco off is set at 1500 and our minimum RPMs went to 1500 on our corner post display. We will enable the PTO load anticipation so you can see what load anticipation does when the PTO is engaged. I will now engage the PTO switch and pay attention to the engine RPMs when it's engaged. in custom mode we've now enabled our set speed one at three mile an hour with our eco turned off under the current load our minimum engine or our engine rpm is running at 740 if i enable our eco mode we can see that our transmission shifts up and our engine RPMs drop to maintain the set speed that we are desiring. If we increase to set speed 2, we can see our engine RPMs increase until our set speed is achieved and then it will drop back down to the minimum RPMs needed based on our set point of our eco on or off. In this case, we're in eco off. In custom mode, if you hit are in set speed one and hit the plus button in the forward gate your set speed one goes away and it will increase gear by gear and increase your set speed for the gear that you're in To go back into efficiency or go back into custom set speed, simply press the number one button. The number one set speed will come back on and it will pull you back to three mile an hour. The last mode that we're going to talk about in the E23 transmission settings is manual mode. In manual mode, we still have our set speeds and our eco settings just as we did in custom. Those settings are the same in manual mode as long as efficiency manager is enabled. If efficiency manager is disabled the throttle control will be taken over and your shifting will be manually in the plus or minus form. If efficiency manager is disabled your throttle control level will control your throttle and your shift lever 
going shifting up a gear or down a gear will control your speed in this video we will show you the manual settings of the E23 transmission and what happens when you shift the tractor. We will start in set speed 1 at 3 mile an hour moving forward in the forward gate. We can see that our engine RPMs have dropped because our eco is turned on and our minimum RPMs are set at 1100 RPMs. If you shift your transmission forward or back, it will take your trans it will take your engine to max RPM setting and then your transmission will operate as a power shift. As you hit the plus mine plus gate, it will increase a gear and then whatever speed it can reach at the engine RPMs it's set at that's the speed you will go up to 23 forward gears to get efficiency manager and the performance back on simply press set speed one the auto will come up the engine speed will drop and your spit your set speed desired will your set speed actual will meet your set speed desired and you'll continue operation. If you have your max engine speed set at 2100 and the lights on and it's enabled, you can see that it will maintain it up there. If max set speed two is enabled at 2150, you'll see the number two here, the max set speed button enabled and it will achieve that maximum engine speed to disable it simply press the button and it will go to full engine rpms there's a couple settings in the engine module that will help performance of your transmission and tractor too to access your engine settings there's three ways either click on the engine power bar on your screen click the engine soft key the engine shortcut key below the display or go to menu machine settings and engine the two settings that we have in the engine module that help with performance are max engine speed 1 and max engine speed 2 and then you can disable or enable them by touching the button on the screen or touching your max engine speed next to your throttle lever. The max engine speed will limit how high your engine RPMs will go up if that's enabled. They will go to full peak if your engine max engine speeds are not enabled. If you have any questions on E23 transmission settings, optimization, or adjustments, please contact your local Landmark Implement location.